what do you typically come to think of when you see a cell phone with such a huge screen? That it must be a touch sensitive one, right? Well, the Sony Ericsson I know sports a large 3 inch display that is touch sensitive in the special multimedia and camera menus only. The exact location of the screen on the front side of the phone must have led to the necessity of moving both the navigational keys and the keypad to the lower part of the slider. This means you have to keep the phone open if you want to access and use its functions. Since it's not controlled via the touch sensitive screen, the iNo doesn't require new interface and utilizes Sony Ericsson's standard one that we know well. Themes seem to have been inspired by pop culture but we didn't like them at the least. But we love the new visual styles of the music player. They do not add functionality but are some eye catchers and lend color to the interface. The same goes for the touch sensitive multimedia menu. It is only accessible when the phone is closed and features shortcuts to the camera, gallery, music, video player and the FM radio. As a whole, all icons are large enough to press with your fingers, although they provide access to simplified functions only, say browsing files or starting them. For an instance, you do not have the opportunity to fiddle with the equalizer or the sound settings. The Sony Ericsson iNo sports an 8.1 megapixel camera with autofocus and a built-in flash. You operate it via the touch sensitive screen and its interface offers different presets, changes the way focusing is done, gives you control over the flash, the self-portrait function, snapshot resolution, geotagging, etc. As a whole, the Sony Ericsson iNo brings forth a concept we do not like at the very least. On one hand, you have this huge screen and on the other, it just cannot be used for proper phone navigation. Honestly, the phone looks like an ill-conceived concept at the moment.